Hey, what is up? Hello, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Emma, and if you're not new here, my name is still Emma. Today is Wednesday, the 19th of February. Today, as you can probably tell by the title, is like my last day at home before I move out. Today is gonna be a pretty busy day. I've been away for the last five days and got home yesterday. So I got a few things done yesterday, like packing up the merch to get sent off so I can get that out of the way and wash my car. But there's still a lot of stuff that needs to happen today. So, first things first, I need to go and drop off the merch at the post office to be sent off this morning. Bugger hats are still available, so if you want to get your hands on one, head over to my website, the link's in the description box. And they're $30. I want to go take these things up to the post office and then I'll come back and fill you guys in as to what's happening for the rest of the day. Right, books on, let's go. Alright, just like that, I'm home. Liverpool playing, so I've got it on the TV, but I need to make myself some breakfast. Three minutes in, the other people scored. Breakfast time, Liverpool still losing. All right, breakfast has been consumed, but I'm gonna sit down and just give you guys a bit of a rundown as to what's actually happening today, because it's a pretty full-on day. It is currently 9.30. Between now and 2.30, I have to clean, not, well, not clean my car, but like vacuum it out. Also need to brush my teeth, haven't done that yet. My laptop, I'm selling, so I need to list that and sell it. I'm probably gonna try to sell it on Instagram first, and then if it doesn't work, I'll go over to trade me, but I don't really want to pay trade me success fees because like seven percent which is like ridiculous once i've done those jobs until 2 30 i need to pack for uni so currently this is all that i have packed i haven't got a whole heap of stuff packed i haven't even thought about what clothes and stuff i'm taking yet obviously i am only going to hamilton so it's only like what not even two hours away i will be coming home quite frequently so that's not like the end of the world but it all things like my microphone and stuff because owen and i are still wanting to start up a podcast so we need to actually get that ball rolling a little bit 2 30 i have a dentist appointment so i need to go to that so once that it'll be three o'clock so between three o'clock and 4 30 i have to go to warehouse stationery and buy fold like binder folders for my papers at uni some card for printing and some paper for printing actually because i've got a printer down at uni which i'm going to be using which is my own printer so i'm going to get some paper to go on that probably some pens because i've got a few pens but i go through pens so quickly there's something else in there oh the clear file things that you'd put into binder folders and then i need to go to farmers because in the hostel i'm going into like fully catered but i still need to have stuff to use in like the um hall's kitchen so if i want to like make some snacks or whatever i still have plates and stuff to use so i need to go buy like a plate and a cup and a bowl and stuff which I think I'm gonna go get from farmers because I'm gonna go get like some far out designs so that I don't get them mixed up with anyone else's. That is the plan and then I also have to go into mum's old work. Since mum and dad owned the business I was an admin on the Facebook page and I still am because I still kind of help out here and there but I think she wants to like remove me completely like the new owner which is completely understandable so I need to go in and help her sort all that out and then 4.30 I have a eyebrow appointment to get my eyebrows um, shaped and tinted and my lashes tinted as well. Oh, so much sleep in my eyeballs. So yeah, and then I'll come home and finish packing. Tonight is my last night at home before I probably move out. So my whole moving out of vlog, that'll be a whole different thing. So many things I want to explain to you, but then there'll be nothing to go in the next vlog. So you just have to watch the next vlog to understand. Anyway, I'm speaking so fast, but I've got so much stuff to say. My hair is an absolute mess. I also need to take a brand photo for Princess Polly today because I have a Princess Polly video going up in under an hour which is all good to go that will just sort itself out but i need to take a brand photo to accompany that to go on instagram to promote the video and then i need to put that on my story <clears throat> i'm not stressed at all also i'm sorry my skin looks like i'm wearing goggles right now i'm not that's just how my skin is all right so it is time for me to vacuum out my car i cleaned the outside of it like washed it yesterday so it's looking way better than it did because it's done a few like long trips since i last washed it in fact i don't really remember the last time i washed it as I was washing it, I was like, there's probably a water ban on, but it's soapy now, so I need to wash it off anyway, but it's fine. So yeah, I'm just going to vacuum out the inside, but I guess I won't show you guys me vacuum it, because that's not great content. But I'll show you before and after, so you can see the difference. Alright, so as you can see, my car's been to the beach and stuff. So we've got sand, we've got grass, we've got dust, we've got more grass and stuff. It's kind of disgusting, I don't even actually know how it got into the state. Boat as well, and it's like... Yeah, another after. So as you can see, we have removed the grass. There are a few things I wanted to do, like dust this down, but honestly, it is so hot right now and I'm sweating so much. As you can see, it's just a lot tidier. So, and I took out, I still have to keep jumper leads and I've got an umbrella and a countdown bag in there. Um, jumper leads because my car's done, like it's a newish car, but it's done a lot of Ks and it's battery could I've seen better days. If you've seen that TikTok, you know. Tom, it's a special. Tom, it's a special. Tom, it's a special. 
Don't be suspicious, 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 don't be suspicious. Right, I need to go and sort my laptop out to sell. That is this job we're doing right now. Let's go. Alright, so this is the laptop, right? And it's all good to go. It's all like reset and stuff. But you can see the screen is disgustingly dirty. And it's been like that for about two years. So I need to clean that up a bit. If you want to get your hands on my laptop, if it hasn't already sold, it'll be on my story. But if it's not on my story, then it's not for sale and it's sold. I need to clean the screen and then I can list it. My method for cleaning this computer screen is just a little tiny corner that's wet on this trucks cloth. And then drying it. I think that this is what Danny told me to do. And if Danny's watching this and this isn't what she told me to do, then she's going to be laughing. But I mean, it's kind of working, so regardless, it's okay. I've been meaning to sell this computer basically for like a month now. I got a new computer, which is a 2018 MacBook Pro. This is a 2015 one. Basically, I just needed a new one because this one didn't quite have enough storage for me. It probably needed like an extra 20 gigs-ish, which was kind of annoying. So I just needed to buy another one with like a whole another 200 gigs of storage because that's how Macs work. I bought this one secondhand and my new one I bought secondhand as well. It's a couple of years old, but by a couple of years old I did save myself like three grand because I was going to get a 16 inch one terabyte MacBook Pro which is going to be like <laughs> four and a half thousand dollars which was kind of hurting me a little bit it was like well it's breaking the bank but I came across one on Trade Me, which was way cheaper and was going to do me just fine so that was what I went with okay so I've just found the box for it so I'm going to wrap the charger up and put it back I also remembered I've got a few like cases and stuff all right that took a lot of effort but it's finally in the box photos taken of laptop i also found that i had an oh not ultra oh my gosh ethernet cable so it's like thunderbolt ethernet so you can plug ethernet cables into the laptop i won't sell it with it because like i've never used it and i feel like no one else would so i'd rather sell it to someone that's going to use it all right stuff is officially on my story that took a lot longer than i was anticipating so yeah i really really need to start packing it is 20 past 11 and <sighs> I'm moving out of home tomorrow. Packing hasn't really started. Laptop listed. Let me get out my to-do list. I'm freaking out. I need to update my phone because literally people send me emojis and it comes up as like a little square box with like a question mark in it. So that's an issue. I need to write up a letter for my nana. I'm just sending out a thank you letter to everyone who sent like flowers and stuff and bought food around the time of Papa's funeral. Um, so I need to sort that out for her. I might take my brand photo now actually to get that out of the way. First things first, I need to clean my mirror. All right, time to clean this because it doesn't really show up on camera, but it is covered in I don't even know what. I've never washed it since I got it and I think it's just like the crap that was when I bought it. Got to use the same cloth I used to clean my laptop screen. <laughs> Wow, I can't get over how much clean this is. Yay! Okay, I need to get changed into my outfit. Actually, no, I need to straighten my hair first because my hair looks like a bird's nest. Okay, hair straightened, outfit on. I'm just trying to decide what color shoes. I think black. Oh, maybe white. Okay, yeah, we're gonna go with white. I did have to reformat my SD card because something was, uh, I don't know, it was weird. But that's all sorted, but yeah, I need to hit this brand photo now. But I'll set you guys up on a time lapse so you can see me being awkward taking mirror selfies. This is a lot harder than it looks, guys. This is so hard. Okay, I think I'm. I think I'm gonna call that that, and I'm just gonna hope that there's one in there that looks okay. And now I can put my room back together. I know I'm gonna get questions if I don't address it. This shelf is from IKEA. And no, we don't have an IKEA in New Zealand, but if you search up this like IKEA like on another country, find out the name of it. I can't remember the name off the top of my head. Um, if you find the name of it and search it up, there'll be someone in New Zealand who is selling it. I think that was like $120 from memory. Time to get changed back into my other clothes and then I can actually start packing. Woo! I don't even know where to start packing. I've never moved houses before or anything, so like I've never had to pack up my stuff. See, like I've got like all these photos and mum said don't take them, but I'm like, what's the point in having them at home if I'm not here to look at them? She's like, well, just take a few. I'm like, but I want all of them. There's like 180 up there at the moment, I think. So... Um, if you want to count them, feel free. What you see there is what you get. I don't know if it's going to fit, so I feel like, because I'm coming home next week from uni, I probably shouldn't have said that in this vlog, but here we are. I'll measure it up, I'll take my measuring tape down, I'll measure it up, I'll see if it'll fit, and if it will fit, I will take it, if it won't, then I won't. What can I start with packing? I just need to find something and just start. How about we start with my guitar? See, I knew this would happen. If I'm starting to unpack stuff, I'm finding stuff that I haven't seen in a very long time. So for instance, this was kept under my bed. Under my bed, I have found a lot of other things while I was under there, including things from when I was a child. Like a whole big fat binder folder full of all my orienteering maps that I've ever run. Hang on, let me just show you this. Keeping in mind that I used to like run at a national level, this is all the maps that I've run. 
I'm not taking that to uni so they can go back under my bed. And then I open this and what do I find? All of my medals and certificates from my competitions. I can't show the front because it shows where I live. Oh, that's so out of tune. That means that I can also pack up my guitar. Oh, that is so dusty. I don't know if you can see that. I feel like I should just put everything that's going to uni on my bed so I can just see it all in one place. Okay, so I've put a few things aside here. I'm kind of trying to gather. No, guys, I do not wear this. This is what Owen wears at a spread. I don't want to them. This is kind of where I'm at. Obviously, there's a lot more stuff I need to pack up. I haven't even thought about clothes or shoes. I can't exactly take all of this. And I have more in here, which is really bad. But, like, these are all my jumpers. And obviously, I can't take all this. And obviously I don't need to take all that because it's not winter. But like, is this like choosing the ones I do want to take? Obviously I'll be coming home so I can swap them out and things, but... I don't even know how I want to pack it. Do I pack it in boxes? Do I pack it in a bag? And my plan once I get down there is to go to Kmart and grab like... I don't know if any of you guys follow Simone Anderson on Instagram, but basically she's like an organisational queen. And she gets these boxes from Kmart to put her stuff in, so I'm hoping I can get some of those. So I need to like measure up before I obviously buy them, which is why I haven't bought them yet. I'm gonna have a lunch break, so I'll see you guys soon. It is nearly half past one, but I have had lunch. I had dumplings, so they were really good. And I caught up on the bachelorette, which I had missed on last night because I was busy doing other stuff. I'm gonna leave and go into town in about 15 minutes, so that's 45 minutes before my dentist appointment. And I want to go um, and get like a few of those jobs done. I might try to go to warehouse stationery before I go to my dentist appointment. And I need to drop my dad at my nana's as well. I feel so out of it today. I think I just got like a little bit stressed. Oh my gosh, the sun is so bright. Okay, I just took my sunglasses off. But I'm now at warehouse stationery. So I've dropped dad off at nana's. But I've got 20 minutes left to be at the dentist. So I'm hoping I can go in here. Card, I know that much if I get nothing else. Binder folders and clear things to go in the binder folders. I'm sure I've forgotten something. But let's go. All right, gonna keep my glasses on this time, but I just arrived at the dentist, so update on we are stationary situation. So, the binder folders weren't really what I was looking for. I found nice ones online while I was in there, so I'm probably gonna go buy those. I know I hate to be that person who buys things online after going to look in the shop, so I ended up just getting a card for the printer because I owe my mum a lot of card because I've been using it a lot with like random letters for my merch, and that card for 100 sheets of paper is $32. That is so expensive. And then I just bought some clear file thingies to go into the binders. But I'm at the dentist, so I'll catch you guys in a second with a numb mouth. I'm getting one filling on, I don't know what side she's going to do, because I have to come back next week for another one anyway. I won't be able to smile like this shortly, but I'll see you guys really soon. I feel so stupid right now. I can't talk. This is so embarrassing. I need to go buy stuff, but I can't talk. I can't talk properly. I feel... I, I, <laughs> the whole side of my mouth is numb. I have to go buy stuff from farmers now, but I'm not gonna be able to like talk to people. So if I can't find it, I'm just gonna have to leave. I feel so stupid. All right, so the cars. Oh my gosh, it's actually a joke. I cannot talk. But I was like, no, I'm just putting it on. But I know I try to talk normally and just can't. I'm going to put subtitles over this. YouTube can't even understand me. If you click the subtitles button right now, you're in for a treat. I'm sure of it. I just can't speak. I'm going to stop talking. You guys can't even understand me. Alright, I got the plates. I felt my speaking is starting to come right, but I'm going to have a drink of water. I don't know how this is going to go. I can't feel anything now. Oh, that's really hard. But anyway, I got the plates. I went with blue ones. I was going to get pink ones because I got a pink mug, but the pink ones went microwave safe and I kind of need to be microwave safe because that is my specialty cooking area. Right, I need to go help at mum's old work with the Facebook page. So I'll see you guys when I'm on my way to my eyebrow appointment. Okay, I've sorted out the Facebook thing. I'm at my eyebrow appointment now, so I'll go and that shortly, but I've arrived like 10 minutes early. I actually sound like a toddler. This is so stupid. I'm going to go to my eyebrow appointment. Hopefully after that, I might be able to talk. Oh, I sound so stupid. Stupid. Before. Oh my god, it's so bright. And after. Oh my gosh, I cannot see. I need to put on sunglasses. It's so bright. You know when they like tip your eyelashes and they put the cover on and it's really dark and now it's really bright. All right, I'm home. It's ten to six. I'm speaking a bit better, but my mouth is still very numb. I think I'm going to have, to have soup for dinner, so that's going to be great. Imagine your last meal at home being soup. I haven't really done any packing, so I guess it's time to get started. This is going to be a nightmare. It is currently 8.08 p.m. and that is all I have packed for uni. This is honestly like the weirdest feeling but it's kind of hard to explain because it feels so normal. Like like I feel like I'm, I'm ready to move out of home. Not completely but like... Um, 
Oh my god, I can't speak. I'm above the wall upstairs. Hi, welcome to my podcast. <laughs> Jokes, I'm absolutely losing the plot. 